Mm. Hey, Brother Roy here, Old School Bible Baptist Ministries. Uh, I'm coming at you today with uh, just a short word of social commentary. Let's pray. Father, thank you for Jesus. Thank you for the blood that was shed. And thank you for salvation. And thank you for the word of God. Thank you for how much you love us, Lord. And thank you for being such a loving, awesome Savior. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen. All right, so what I want to talk about, let me give you a verse on it. Isaiah chapter 5, verse 20. Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness, and put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Today in America, in reference to what is happening in the Middle East right now with Hamas in Gaza, the war with Israel, there are large numbers of American citizens out in the streets protesting in support of the Islamic terrorists and protesting against our own government and against our friends in Israel. This is calling evil good and good evil. This is absolutely wacky, wacky, wacky. Hey, <laughs> remember <laughs> the TV show Cops? Bad boys, bad boys, <laughs> what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Are you, are these people delusional and delirious? Oh, yes. We love all the H, all the terror groups that start with H and Hamas, Houthi, Hezbollah. Yeah, we're on your side. Yay, go, go. Listen. What you going to do when they come for you? Do you not know anything about them? This is not political. This is not national. This is a religious movement. These are Islamic militants. This is all religious. It's all about the Quran. You say, oh, we love them. Yay, go. Go Houthi, go Hezbollah, yay, uh, go Hamas. If that's what you want, how about this? Ladies, do you like wearing clothes? Oh, <laughs> you, don't, you don't get to wear clothes in those countries. No, they put, you, they put you under a big black sheet where nobody can see a single inch of you and you look out there. Huh? Here's another one for the ladies. Do you like driving a car? I don't know. You don't get to drive a car over there. Listen, as Christians, we are definitely, we're not pro-abortion. But we wouldn't kill you for getting one. <laughs> you, you get to get some abortion over there, they'll kill you. What? You get caught stealing over there, they don't kill you, they'll chop your hands off. Oh, and don't, listen, there's... They've been out there, uh, LGBT, trans, supporting Palestine, supporting Hamas. Do you not know that is a death sentence over there? They, it's just delusional. Absolutely delusional. What you going to do when they come for you? <laughs> I mean, that is, that is Islam. Islam is spreading submission to them by the sword. And we, we've done other videos. You can go back and look. I'm not going to go, th go through all the verses, all the, all, the, all the surahs within the Quran right now, but we've already demonstrated that, that that's what they say. They come in, you will submit to Islam, Allah, and his prophet, or you get your head cut off. And what does it mean to submit to Allah? And as prophet, it means you submit to everything they tell you. It's called Sharia law. 
they, they, they gonna change your whole world. You like going to watch a movie? You ain't watching a movie anymore. So I don't drink, but you, you, so, so you enjoy going out and have a, having a cocktail? You can't drink. <laughs> don't get caught doing no drugs. They will kill you. Listen, there is no grace. There is no mercy. There is no liberty. There is no, there is no freedom under Islam. It's the sword. That's all you got with Islam. You got the sword. There is no grace. There is no forgiveness. Now, I'll twist this around. I'll show you the difference here. Uh, you, uh, people are so think, oh, 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 God, our God, the God of the Bible, he's so bad. He's so bad. He's so mean. That's like, all he wants to do is send us to hell. Listen, you're already on your way to hell. Every single person is already on their way to hell. Why? Because the wages of sin is death. God is a holy, perfect, and a righteous God. Heaven is a holy, perfect, and a righteous place. You can't take your sin to heaven. There's only one other place you can go. It was a place that wasn't created for man. God didn't want to send you there. It was created for the devil and his angels. But listen, if you can't go to heaven, there's no other place for you to exist. Your soul is eternal. That's the eternal forever part of you. This is just a car that you're driving You're driving around in. They say your eyes are the windows to the soul. You, you, this, this isn't me. You've never seen me in a day in your life. I'm inside of here looking out at you. My soul, the eternal part of me. And listen, that soul cannot go and exist in the presence of a righteous, holy, perfect God it, it it can't do it. So God's not like, I I'm, I'm just want to punish you and send you to hell for your sin. No, God says, look, you're already on your way. He said, I want to save you from it. I want to keep you from it. And I tell you what, I love you so much. And I want you to come and spend eternity with me so badly that I'm willing to take the hell and the punishment for your sin on myself. You don't have to do anything. I'll come and pay for it. And there's no big sin. There's no little sin. God doesn't hate somebody who got an abortion or hate somebody who's a homosexual or hate somebody that's a thief or hate somebody that's a drug addict anymore. He hates sin. And the Bible says all have sinned. Even in what in your and I eyes, on a comparative scale, you may look at this person and say, well, I, I don't, he's not committing any big sins or anything. They seem they like they might, but listen, all have sinned. The wages of sin is death. I mean, if you don't need to gather up a whole bucket load of sin before you're on your way to hell. Just takes one. It takes one. Listen, if I have an extension cord, how many times I got to cut the cord before the life doesn't get through, before the power doesn't get through? Just once, just once. And listen, you were innocent and you were a child once. I was innocent. I was a child once. But a time came where we knew the difference between right and wrong and we chose wrong. Every single one of us has done it. And that was sin. And that's when the cord was cut. And now you were a sinner. And I, all sinners on the way to hell. See, there's no forgiveness for that in Islam. There's no redemption for that in Islam. There's no hope for that in Islam. But God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever would simply believe in him might not perish but have everlasting life. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what you've done in your past. It doesn't matter what you are right now. If you will just receive the free gift of salvation paid for by Jesus Christ on Calvary's cross, God will at that very moment, he will account his righteousness to you. He will account your sins to him and your slate is wiped clean. That is what a loving God does. Islam is the exact opposite. Islam 
is the rule of the sword. And all those sins that you and I would do, they'd get our heads chopped off in these Islamic countries. Anything, multiple things in your life would be death sentences over there. So how in the world could American citizens, American college students be, be out in the streets supporting them? Absolute insanity. But praise God, that's, 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 what, that's what God said it was going to be like in the last days. They're going to put good for evil and evil for good. And I'm telling you, this, this, this is what's happening in the world today. And it, the, you got Houthi, you got Hezbollah, you got Hamas. Now, those are all just arms. Those are just parts of the web. Go all to the center of that web, and it's Iran. It's Shia Muslim. Shia Muslim in Iran. And they stand there every day, the leaders of their country, in their mosques, shouting, death to America, death to America, death to America. And you call yourself an American? And you march in the streets? And you support that? What a sad, sad, sad world that we live in today. What a deluded, deceived, and clueless people we, we deal with today. Now, I realize within this, the, my sphere of influence and those who watch my videos, uh, I'm sure I, I'm preaching to the choir, and everyone out there would just say, Amen, Amen, Amen. But let me also encourage you, if you know someone that is caught up in replacement theology or covenant theology and thinking that God is done with the nation of Israel and that he is not coming back soon to sit on the throne of David and to rule and reign the earth for a thousand years and reestablish the Jewish kingdom, if you don't think that God is going to keep those promises, listen, <laughs> you might as well go out and march and march with that crowd out there because the thermometer the temperature gauge the chronology the clock of the whole world is that little that little place over there called israel you keep your eyes on israel and you will know where we are in god's plan for the ages hey Bad boys, bad boys, what you going to do when they come for you? You know I love you. We'll see you in the next one.